everyone. Welcome to my channel Adda for IT. My name is Kushbu and in this class we are going to learn about one of the most important topic regarding machine learning that is its life cycle. Whether it be data science, machine learning or anywhere whatever kind of project you are implementing this life cycle plays a very very important role. Starting from gathering the data that is collecting the data and ending towards deployment whatever kind of things or process used to happen inside life cycle we will discuss here in this class. So without wasting a minute let us start and just discuss what is machine learning life cycle. So this is a figure just I have attached for your reference so that you can understand it here that inside machine learning life cycle in total there are seven steps that is included. The first one is data gathering. Okay. Data gathering means collecting the data. The second one is data preparation. The third one is data wrangling. The fourth one is data analysis. The fifth one is model training. Sixth one is model testing. And seventh and last one is deployment. So, these all are the steps inside machine learning life cycle. We will discuss here about each step in very, very detailed manner. Right? So, let us start with the data gathering. That is our first step. Fine. Okay, so let us discuss what we used to do inside data gathering. As the name suggests, we used to gather the data. Means, we used to collect the data from various different different kinds of sources. Sources means whether it could be uh, like any website or internet or from IoT devices or from banks, hospitals, anywhere. Whatever kind of requirement you got, according to that, you will collect your data. After collecting your data, the next step that includes inside data gathering is to do the integration. This is our first step, collecting data from various data sources. And the second steps include integration of those data. Because while gathering the data, you will collect your data from different, different sources. So what you have to do that, you have to integrate those data at one place, at one file or at one source. So that you can use your data set in your project. So this is what we used to perform inside data gathering. So let us discuss what is the second step inside machine learning life cycle. So this data preparation is the next step in the machine learning life cycle that is second step. Fine. So data preparation is the second step inside machine learning life cycle where we used to put the data into suitable places. Maybe it could include any databases such as MySQL, MongoDB or Cassandra. It could be some files or folders. After this, the next step is understanding the nature of the data. How many rows, how many columns are present inside your data set. One more thing that we should keep in our mind while data preparing that the volume of data should not be small. It should be sufficient enough so that our model could be trained on top of that data set. So that's it inside data preparation. The main aim is to put the data into suitable places and the next one is understanding the nature of the data. Also we have to keep in mind the volume of data should not be less. So let's see the third step. The next step is data wrangling. Whatever data we use to collect inside data gathering step, that is not mandatory that it would be clean, it would be formatted and all. So data wrangling is the step where we use to clean our data. We used to clean the missing values present over uh, their invalid data. If in case it is there, we used to clean that. After that, also we used to convert those data into usable format so that we can use that data directly into our projects and all. So the main aim of data wrangling is to format the data, clean the data so that we can perform some kind of analysis in the next step. So let us see the next step inside machine learning life cycle. Data analysis is the next step inside machine learning life cycle. As the name suggests, here we used to perform some kind of analysis on top of our data set to understand and to gather the information. Here we used to do selection of analytics techniques so that we can analyze our data. How many rows are there? How many columns are there? How many categorical values are there? How many numerical values are there? These all kind of analyzation we used to perform inside this data analysis step. Also, we used to build the model using different different algorithms. 
inside machine learning, there are various algorithms that is present inside each of the type that is supervised, unsupervised and reinforcement. Accordingly, we used to perform or we used to put the algorithm on top of the model, fine, whether it be regression or classification or clustering. So here inside data analysis, the main aim is to understand the problem statement and to perform the different kind of algorithm on top of our data set depending on the requirement. Let's see the next step inside machine learning life cycle. So the next step is model training. Inside model training, we used to train our model. Whatever model we have built inside previous step, we used to train that model. Here, data set is used to train the model using various ML algorithms. We use our data set to train the model. How model is trained? Our model is trained by defining or just collecting the patterns or information present inside our data set. So that while predicting, it could give the great result or it should perform more accurate. So after model training is done, the next step is model testing. So inside model testing, we used to test our model that has been trained, that it is properly trained or not. It is giving exact accuracy or not. That's what it is written here. Here we used to check the model is properly trained or not. If in case it would not be properly trained, we used to go towards previous steps and we used to perform some kind of hyperparameter training. After that again we used to test our model. We will not move our model to the next step until when we can get good accuracy whatever our expectation was. Also we used to check the accuracy. So the main aim of model testing is to check the accuracy of the model. How well our model is performing. So that's it about model testing. Let's see the next step and the last step that is deployment. Deployment means bringing the model into real world system so that end user like us can use that model or application we can say. So here you can understand this deployment as building the report for your final project. Also one more thing that you have to keep in your mind while deployment that your model should perform well and should provide that accuracy that were needed for the particular requirement. Then only we will bring our model into a real world system. So that's it about machine learning life cycle. I hope you would have understood the different different steps and what we used to perform inside each and every step. If in case you would have any query, you can just comment. I'll be happy to reply. So that's it for this video. I hope you would have understood machine learning life cycle. If in case you have learned something from this video, then please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.